What did Kathy Wood have to say about Tesla and Archer? And that led us into the air. And so we've been studying eVTOLs. I want to go in and show you a video about something that Kathy Wood has said. And I just want to put a disclaimer. This isn't actually just come out as of the news that broke last night that Liam covered. So there has been a sneak preview, a little bit of an Easter egg released in a video where it sees the midnight aircraft and Tesla, Optimus and the Roadster um, in a video together. Now, if you haven't seen that, make sure to go back and look at Liam's video. But what it did for me is it triggered a video that I watched with Kathy Wood on the Diary of the CEO, where she discussed how Tesla and Archer are connected. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. The entire ecosystem associated with autonomous uh, taxi networks is going to be worth eight to ten trillion dollars in terms of revenue generation in the next five to ten years. You can see now how they can say that the EV toll industry could be one trillion. Let's continue. And if you want to put that in context, the the entire GDP of the world today is about 130 trillion. So 10 trillion is going to move the needle. I think a lot of people don't realize just how much of the economy is about driving. Yes. So taxis, deliveries, yes. all these kinds of things. It's a huge, is it the single, I think it's the single biggest employer in the world. Yes, driving. transportation, transportation right. broadly defined. Yes. And, and it's not just on. I think that's something that we don't really think of as uh, EVTOL and aviation investors, but transportation is the largest employer in the world, as they've just discussed it the ground, of course, uh, as we've studied uh, autonomous taxis uh, moving forward, uh, we believe the cost of transportation will come down fairly dramatically. So uh, in the U.S. today, an Uber costs roughly 2 to $4 per mile. Mm -hmm. um, at scale, now this may not be for 5 to 10 years, but this is the direction that Tesla certainly is headed. Uh, we believe that Tesla will be able to offer a service for 25 cents per mile. And because- I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't know about uh, renting out my car for 25 cent a mile. I'll be very interested to see how Tesla worked this out and how does it work in terms of insurances and if there was any damage. I'm just thinking wear and tear on your car for 25 cents. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Because of that, we think there will be much more congestion in the roads. When you cut the price of something, you get more of it. Yeah. So now this is the part that I want everyone to listen to. This is the part where it ties in Tesla's auto uh, autonomy in their cars with Archer's EV toll, the midnight aircraft. And that led us into the air. And so we've been studying EV tolls. Um, What's an EV toll? EV toll is an electric vehicle takeoff and landing. Like a drone type A thing. drone, but... So close, Kathy. I don't think we'll hold that against her, but yeah, electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Still, she's a big investor. She loves this space and she was a visionary, like on most of her investments. She's looking five, 10 years ahead. So uh, I think we'll let her off on that one. For, for people. Yeah. So we own Archer in our portfolio. And of course, AI is a part of this new world as well. Um, and it's a part of the defense world as well, as we are trying to save our soldiers and, um, and move out there with autonomous drones. So autonomous uh, mobility on the ground, in the skies. Do you think that uh, Archer's partnership with Tesla will mean that they can use part of Grok Optimus, the AI system that is done the full self-driving, that is becoming, uh, I've seen a tweet earlier from Elon saying that it's almost sentient. Do you think that that's what this partnership will be? Would that mean that you think Archer have taken the lead in this race? As we've said many a time before, you can't count out either of these two. Every time that one pulls ahead, the other one just comes out of nowhere and takes the lead because this is a major, major news, especially if Elon is getting involved in the project. So that's actually all from that video. I just wanted to say 
What did you guys think about that? Were you very bullish? Do you agree with her? Will the robo taxis mean that there's no space on the ground? So we need to go to the sky. 